Guess who made it to the USA? This guy. <laughs> yeah. Woo. And we're going to get him the vaccine. Or as they say here, the jab. Jab, jab. Hopefully. Let's go. All right, so Deanna already got her vaccine. We're here, show. I'm officially vaccinated. I have my card here. It's been like 20 minutes um, waiting in the parking lot. My mom had to do a errand, so I'm just chilling here. But uh, I'm feeling great. And there's sunshine. Let me show you the sunshine. It's amazing. Sunshine. Do you see that? Some a blue sky. All right, got shot number two. It's inside of me. <laughs> um, it was really easy. We could just check in online. It said when we were here at the store on our phones. Two minute wait. Now we're good. So Deanna already got both of them actually within three weeks, no problem. And the big hope is for me to get it here as well. But as you know, I'm not a US citizen, so we are not sure how that works. However, we were able to sign up online or Deanna signed me in online with my German passport number and there was no error or anything popping up in the online portal of the CVS pharmacy. Yeah. So I'm kind of like signed in and we're gonna grab all my documents now and head over there and hope that they will just do it for a foreigner, just like that. To be honest, my concern is that they're gonna check some identification and they're just gonna realize, oh wait, you're not a US citizen and they're like, we don't know if we can or not. I asked if my German husband can get vaccinated and they said yes. Well, they were kind of vague. They, they said were, probably or something. Yeah, like they were that, like, you, right? put, you could probably do it. Uh, just sign up. I think we'll be okay, but we'll see. There's always that confusion up until the point you get there. You exactly. Know? But, but my thing is, if it would be known, if it's no problem, then wouldn't that be all over the news that you could just go to the US and get no, vaccinated? No, because you can't get into the country. There are travel bans. It's true. It's a travel ban, but I'm here. So, because fingers crossed. Because you're a spouse. That's the only reason you're here. We don't want to mention... Spouse for... status. <laughs> Here we go. We're at the CVS. It's gonna get vaccinated. <laughs> How do you feel? Very uncomplicated. <laughs> you just got it. Which arm did you get it in? I am baffled by how quick, how easy, and without any question, that went down. I just walked in there, I got my vaccine. Yeah, they just asked for his name and birth date, and it was pretty easy. I'm not really surprised, but I'm happy that it went through smoothly. Yeah. There's always this worry because being married to a non-US citizen, we always go through these bureaucratic issues on both sides. Yeah. So the CVS is basically a big pharmacy chain. They have them every mile on every road. <laughs> And uh, before we signed up, we could go on the CVS website, look up which pharmacy uses which vaccine. We specifically chose this one because it had the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. Yeah, we just figured that um, if we do have to get like any boosters or anything special while we are in Germany, you know, next year, it would just be easier to have the same. But nowadays they're like cross vaccinated. There's not that much information, so it keeps changing. But that was our reasoning to get the Pfizer one. Yeah. So it's been like 15 minutes. We waited for a little bit in there. I don't feel anything by now, but we'll check in with you in a little bit and see if I'm feeling anything. Yeah. Here we are guys, three weeks later. Yeah, so we're gonna head back to CVS, get my second shot, my second jab. And I guess this is the interesting part because usually the symptoms are stronger after the second shot. Also just lately, the news were all talking about how these young men get uh, heart inflammation from the Pfizer vaccine all of a sudden. So that's great that that just came out. But we'll see the symptoms that I will encounter and I will describe them to you and show you. And uh, let's get the shot first. How do you feel? Symptoms for the first minute? None. It's been 25 minutes and we just pulled up at Walmart and uh, my arm already hurts weirdly. It wasn't that quick after the first vaccine, so I'll check in with you in a minute. All right, quick check-in after the vaccine number two. Um, it's the evening now of this day. It's been like six hours since I received the vaccine and I just woke up from a like two and a half hour nap because I'm pretty groggy. So I want to talk a little bit about the side effects for the upcoming days. And I think I feel a little bit more after the second dose because the first dose, the first day I felt nothing. And then my arm was basically sore for two or three days actually and got 
pretty bad. And this time around, I could feel it like immediately, like half an hour in, I felt like there was something going into my body. But yeah, if you can look at it here, there's really visually nothing you can see with my little patch. Um, but my arm is already a little sore and overall I was just a little um, groggy, a little drowsy. So I felt pretty warm but we took my temperature and I don't have any fever. And I guess I'll see tomorrow in the next couple of days if I feel anything more. It is now the next day after my second shot of the vaccine. The side effects are pretty mellow this time around. My arm is very sore. Like last night was a bit of a struggle. I couldn't lie on the left side. I got the shot into my uh, left arm. It hurt a lot moving around at night and I think it's already a little better. I don't know if it gets worse or better, but uh, yeah, if you look at it, you just see the patch there. Um, maybe I'll take that off right now. Whoa, yeah, you don't see, really see anything. But um, the, the sore area is really oh, here, like just around it in this circle. Yeah, this, this part of the muscle. If I push here, it's nothing. If I push here, it's nothing. If I push here, it hurts quite a bit. And I feel it if I, if I lift my arm up here, it feels a bit, it feels really sore, like a very bruised spot. Yeah, I remember after the first dose, it definitely got worse. And I think it lasted like two or three days. So right now I'm at like 50% of the pain that I encountered it the first time, like on the peak. So I wonder if it gets worse tomorrow or not, but so far pretty good. All right, last quick update is two days later after the last update. So yesterday I didn't film anything because it was kind of the same, like I said before, there was a lot of soreness in the arm, but it was not as bad as after the first shot. And then today, a day later, I got up and it's almost gone. There's almost nothing there anymore. So the side effects of the second shot were actually a little lower than after the first one. Yeah, and it was the same for me. I think I had the most soreness from the first one. And then the second one was like minimal soreness for like a day, but I also like kept moving and stuff during it. I don't know if that helped or not. Yeah. But yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad for me. Yeah, I kind of took it slow after the second one because I was a little exhausted. And uh, yeah, after the first one, we stayed kind of active too for me. Yeah. Good to go. Disclaimer, we are not medical professionals. Seek your medical provider for advice for yourself. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, let us just know what you think about the whole vaccine thing. And uh, how far are you? Did you get your vaccine already? And what were your symptoms if you had any? Exactly. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. A big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and supports us and a special thank you to our Patreons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these.